In 2008, a 911 call was made by the family of a 53-year-old Filipino woman by the name of Ms. L. In this call, the police were given a situation in which they have never experienced before. According to the family, Ms. L was stating that she was actually dead, citing that she saw that her skin was rotting away in front of her very eyes. And, because of this, Ms. L wanted to be taken away to a morgue to be properly sent off to the afterlife. The police came with paramedics to the location of Ms. L, much to her dismay. Ms. L believed the paramedics were going to burn her house down with her and her family inside. After coaxing her to go with them to the hospital, an interview was had with Ms. L about her condition. Along with all the strange claims from earlier, she stated that she felt hopeless and tired. She had also lost her appetite and was experiencing bodily issues due to the lack of food and water intake. She was given medication and much support from medical staff. However, it was hard to get her to feel better. Ms. L was reluctant to eat or take medication despite being necessary for her survival. She also did not bother to move much, wash herself, or talk to others, remaining isolated and depressed. After some time, she had a serious seizure, which was subdued and allowed doctors to up her dosage of certain medications and give her new ones. After much effort, Ms. L eventually became much better, becoming much less nihilistic and even agreeing to follow up care. As stated, Ms. L experienced the feeling that she was actually dead. Because of this idea, she lost her appetite and ability to stay optimistic. These were all telltale signs of Cotard syndrome. Discovered by and named after Jules Cotard, the psychiatrist found the disorder in 1880. Cotard syndrome is a mental disorder in which a person believes they are either dead, dying, or non-existent. Due to these delusions, patients, typically, become much less hopeful, opting to socialize less, lose appetite, and stop taking care of themselves altogether. Additionally, since they believe they are dead or dying, they may become depressed or suicidal. In their minds, they believe their life is over. So they assume that if they are already dead, then why keep living? As seen in Ms. L, this can lead to drastic and lethal lifestyle changes. As for the causes of the disorder, this is unclear. Only around 200 cases have ever been reported, so proper study of the disorder is near impossible. However, the one key trait all patients have is that they have past or existing mental health issues or brain damage. The current theory is that Cotard syndrome is a symptom of a much larger issue. Tumors, blood clots, depression, dementia, Parkinson's, and much more have been cited as possible causes for Cotard syndrome. As for treatment, the situation is identical. Doctors have recommended that the best way to treat Cotard syndrome is to cure the problem that it stems from. While we may not have much to go off regarding this disorder, it is rather stunning that such a delusion can exist. Seeing yourself as dead is, seemingly, unfathomable, and it must be hard to see through the eyes of those who see their own skin peeling away. While we should all be happy for the recovery of Ms. L, who knows how many have lost their lives due to this disorder? While only 200 cases have ever been documented, who knows how many people went to the extreme trying to move on to an afterlife they already thought they were in. Thank you all for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please go check out some of the things you see in front of you, I promise that there is something you like, and I really hope to see all of you in the next one. Take care.